If you are looking to switch to a bookstyle foldable phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 naturally comes into mind because it has so many things to love. But despite that, it is still a very clunky and hefty device to handle, which isn't for everyone. Fortunately, the Honor Magic V2 is now official in Malaysia and it has a lot more to impress compared to its competition. So here's why you should consider the Honor Magic V2 over the Galaxy Z Fold 5. One thing you will have to get used to when switching to a bookstore foldable from a bar foot is the aesthetics. Like its predecessors, the Z Fold 5 still features an odd aspect ratio on the front and a small display at 6.2 inches that can feel cramped for typing if you have large hands, let alone doing basic stuff such as scrolling through social media feeds and viewing text. This is the screen that you are going to use the most during the ownership and just doesn't make sense after a while. Last year, the Honor Magic VS already introduced a more practical form factor with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio display that's being used on many regular phones. The Magic V2 made the experience even better with the same 6.43 inch screen and a slimmer body profile at just 9.9 mm and it weighs 237 grams for the glass back model. Translate that into real world usage, you are literally holding a book style foldable that measures and weighs like a regular bar phone. And the external screen is more practical than the Z Fold 5 for doing everything from texting to consuming content. Unfold the Honor Magic V2 and Z Fold 5, the former offers a larger 7.92 inch canvas compared to 7.6 inches on the latter. You can clearly see which is the better screen for doing more things and consuming content. Also, let's not forget to mention eye care, which I believe everyone is aware how OLED screens can cause headaches and sleepless nights when viewed in low light. The Magic V2 has a high 3840Hz PWM dimming frequency on both its external and internal screens. It also has eye care features such as circadian night display and dynamic dimming, which can eliminate headaches and eye fatigue that the Z Fold 5 doesn't offer. Now, you might be wondering how Honor managed to achieve such a sleek and lightweight form factor, and is it durable enough to sustain from accidental drops? The Honor Magic V2 uses a super light titanium hinge mechanism that sees 70% reduction in parts compared to the previous generation, and the new hinge also makes the crease less visible than the Z Fold 5, and it has been certified by SGS to sustain more than 400,000 folds. The external display uses a second generation nano crystal glass that has 10 times greater drop resistance compared to typical glass, which grants it a 5 star drop resistance certification from SGS. When it comes to cameras, the Honor Magic V2 features an upgraded triple camera system over the Magic VS. Compared to the Z Fold 5, I'm glad to see that its ultra wide and telephoto cameras take higher resolution steals at 50 megapixels and 20 megapixels, respectively. While you can argue megapixels don't equal to better quality photos, you will be impressed by the image quality between these two phones. Take a look at this set of ultra wide shots. The Honor Magic V2 captures better detail and dynamic range, all thanks to the use of pixel binning. This is one thing hard to come by even on modern flagship phones, where most ultra wide cameras tend to lose detail on the edges and have soft focus spots. On their telephoto cameras, although the Honor Magic V2 has a 0.5 times shorter optical zoom than the Z Fold 5, it really isn't too noticeable. But once again, you can see that the Magic V2's telephoto camera is a better candidate by producing more natural looking colors and better contrast than the Z Fold 5's more saturated photos. All thanks to a higher resolution sensor and pixel binning, it is able to capture better detail with lower noise levels in low light. Back to their main cameras, I think they both do equally well in image quality with good dynamic range and detail. But one thing that the Magic V2 beats the Z Fold 5 is the motion sensing capture feature, which uses an advanced AI algorithm to capture fast moving subjects as you tap the shutter button, eliminating the common shutter lag that's found on most phones. Let's not forget to mention their front facing cameras. The Honor Magic V2 has the same 16 megapixel camera on both the external and internal screen, while the Z Fold 5 penalizes your selfies when you use the internal screen with a 4 megapixel under screen camera, which I don't need to mention which one takes better selfies in this case. V2 
Video recording hasn't always been on a strength, but boy, how the tables have turned this time. While the Z Fold 5 is capable of taking 8K videos that the Honor Magic V2 isn't, look at how these two fare when shooting in 4K 30fps. They both have excellent image stabilization, but when it comes to low-light videography, the Magic V2's main camera takes brighter and better looking colors than the Z Fold 5. And let's not forget to mention that the Magic V2 is probably the only foldable phone that's capable of applying LUTs and shooting in lock color mode, which allow mobile creators to get creative with videos and color grade in post. Although the Honor Magic V2 and Z Fold 5 have great battery life, one thing that the latter still annoys me is the slow 25W charging speed. The Honor Magic V2 supports a much faster 66W wired charging that fully charges its 5000mAh battery from empty in less than 45 minutes. This is achieved with a dual cell design of its high density silicon carbon battery, which measures as slim as a credit card. Ultimately, it all comes down to value. The Honor Magic V2 retails for 6 999 ringgit with a single storage variant of 16 gigs RAM and 512 gigs of storage. The Z Fold 5 retails 200 ringgit lower for the 12 gigs RAM and 512 gigs storage model. But despite that, the Honor Magic V2 offers so much more value in terms of features with just a slight cash top up. Especially if you're switching to a foldable phone, it doesn't require you to adapt to an unfamiliar aesthetic and feels just right in your hands and pockets. So yeah, this is why you should definitely go check out the Honor Magic V2 if you are thinking to switch to a bookstyle foldable. And this brings us to the end of the comparison between the Honor Magic V2 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and I'll see you in the next one.